and to celebrate a birthday. Uh, and first of all, I want to recognize that we're in a process of truth and reconciliation as a country, that we're making steps that are amazing. And these women know about breaking barriers and taking steps moving forward. So in terms of recognizing that we're on a traditional territory, it's the unceded territory, unceded, of the Algonquin people. And it's important for us to recognize that not only as a, as a reminder, but think about what that means. And we, as settlers, how many of you are settlers? <laughs> but just remember, it was the first peoples and our indigenous brothers and sisters that welcomed us and allowed us to share the best country in the world. And so when we reflect on human rights and the struggle of women, the discrimination and the racism that these women have faced head on is very, very difficult. And the fact that we're seeing such progress over decades is timely. In fact, we all share a bit of that shame that it took so long. When did women get the right to vote? When did Indigenous women finally get recognized? And that is part of what our Prime Minister calls the truth. First, you must understand the truth, to own up to it, to be part of that, and to take that responsibility. And then we move to reconciliation and positive steps, which I see here. So the, um, uh, the heroes that we are uh, recognizing are here before us. Um, and I want to pay tribute, special tribute to these women. Uh, Ms. Kugier. Corbier Laval, Senator Lovelace Nicholas, and Dr. Gill, and Miss Bedard, and Dr. McIver, and Senator Dick, who unfortunately is not here. And it's such a pleasure and honor to be with you at this event. Yes. And some of you I've been had the honor of listening to as you presented to our committee. Uh, and I've had the special privilege of being the chair of the Indigenous and Northern Affairs Committee. As a woman in the mining and earth sciences uh, sector, uh, we know that there are battles. Uh, and I worked in Northern Manitoba for over uh, 25 years, many, many years with our uh, Indigenous people up north, and then in Winnipeg, where we realized day to day the negative impacts of colonialism, of apartheid that Canada has implemented, and the fact that our system must recognize it and change so that we have equality and human rights.